Hello everyone! For this week's video I'm working on a commission of Death from the DC Comics Sandman. I'll be sharing the hair, costume, and face-up process for this one. I was super excited to take on this project because it was a character I wanted to recreate in doll form for a very long time. Death is from the comic series Sandman, which was created by Neil Gaiman and Mike Dringenberg. In the comic, the main character is Dream, and Death is the older sister and nurturing confidant through the series. As a guide for the recently deceased, helping them transition into their new existence, she's interestingly a quite positive and pleasant character. She's also very down to earth and dresses in casual goth clothing such as a black tank top and black jeans. She iconically wears a silver onk around her neck and a mark around her eye that looks like the Eye of Horus. In the recent Sandman series on Netflix, Death is played by Kirby Hal Baptiste and she played the part beautifully. If you haven't seen the series, I highly recommend you check it out. So getting started on the face up, I'm working with what I believe is a Raven Queen. It might be Apple White. I think they have the same sculpt, but it's an Ever After High doll. I'm just shaping the eyes with some white and adding some detail, and then I'll move on to the shading. I'm adding one coat of everything that I can before I add some sealant. So doing the eyes, the shading, the blushing, highlights, and everything. And then I'll give her a couple coats of Mr. Super Clear. I also always like to add some color to the ears to pull it all together. Just drew her little eye detail there and now I'm adding some uh, black shadow to give her more of a smoky eye. I like to use, if I, if I don't want it to be overdone too dark, I like to use the pearlescent black from the Pan Pastel. And if I want it to be darker, then I'll use the regular black. When I do the eyes to keep them symmetrical as possible, I just go back and forth, do a little at a time on each one. Playing connect the dots with the eyebrows, I use Pan Pastel first and then an eraser to shape them and then add in the individual hairs with a pencil. Just a quick reminder that I have a $5 printable on Etsy. It's an instant download of my step-by-step -step guide to doll repainting, including lots of good information, and it's especially helpful for those who like to have something printed out next to them while they're working. There's also my classes over on Skillshare and tips and twice a month tutorials on my Patreon, so the links to those are below. Just giving her some bottom lashes. And adding the white dots to the eyes really brings their to life.
And I'm doing some body blushing and I just do some, uh, just a little bit of detail work with uh, an X-Acto knife, taking off some of those, those numbers on the arms. Since she's gonna be showing her arms, I wanna uh, do a little detail work there. And then just going in with some shading. So since her costume is pretty basic with just the pants and the tank top, I wanted to make sure everything was nice and fitted. I'm using this girl pant pattern. If you're a supporter on, over on Patreon, this should be a pattern that you can find in the rewards for 2021 and before. Once I have the pieces cut out, I'm using some hem tape to hem up the edges on the ankles and the waist. And the reason I'm doing that is so that my threads, um, my uneven stitches don't show. I have to be really careful using the iron with this vinyl. I'm just doing it very lightly and quickly and sealing that up. Just kind of heating it up with the iron and then using my finger just to push it together. Once I have everything hemmed, then I'm gonna stitch up the pants. And again, to make sure that they're nice and fitted, I'm just taking it one step at a time, holding it up to the doll, and then um, sewing the inner edges and then fitting it to the outer edges. There they are, nice and fitted, and they are that stretchy fabric so I could pull them right on. For the shoes, I pulled this pair of roller skates from my stock box and clipped off the wheels and gave them a paint job. For her onk, I didn't have a charm that was the onk shape in my stock box, so I decided to make one because everyone I went to order just wasn't right to scale. So I'm using this aluminum and I used a, an embossing tool to draw it out and then I cut it out with some tiny scissors. And to make sure that this didn't look like a, just a piece of tin foil, I took a lot of extra steps to make it look just right. So I sanded it down so to sort of perfect the shape and then I got some UV resin and coated it just once at this point. Moving it around with a toothpick and just doing the one side. Once it's coated all over, then I use the UV light. At this point, I used this uh, jewelry wire, cut off the little loop at the top, and then added some uh, super glue just to stick it on, and then sealed it on with the UV light again to make sure that it stays. So adding more resin and then using the UV light. I added a few coats of the resin until it was the thickness that I wanted and then I sanded it down to the right shape. Then I'm using this uh, silver wax to give it that nice shine. And I don't show it, but I sealed it one more time off camera. Now moving on to the hair. So starting out, I'm gonna separate the hair and add this unscented, just regular hair gel. Just working it through each section and this is going to help her hold her style. Now I'm going to section it out and do some flat ironing. I'll likely have to do some more flat ironing later once I cut the, the hair but for now this really helps me build the style. Once it's all flat ironed, I'm gonna comb through and then section it off so I can start the cut. I'm using some thinning shears to take out that bulk. Now I'm gonna section her hair out so I can give her her cut.
taking the head off and placing it on the doll just to kind of gauge where the hair will land, how short I want it. So I hope you guys are enjoying my new schedule of uploading weekly. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my full length videos or shorts. I'm especially excited to share next week's video with you. The video will feature two dolls from a 1987 movie, perfect for this time of year. Let me know in the comments if you can guess who it is. I'm making them for the group show also on t October 28th over at the Doll Artist Collective on Instagram. If you're not following us over there, check it out. We're a small group of doll artist friends and we have several solo and group shows throughout the year. We also have guest artists join our shows and have their solo shows and and also do regular features and share tips and tricks and things like that. So I'll put the link in the description box below as well. So I'm just thinning out the ends a little bit. And if you're a supporter over on Patreon in the rewards for earlier this year, I have a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how I did this haircut. And there's her style, so stay tuned for the photos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!